sir. We live, we back, man. Welcome, welcome back to the Golden Goose DFS Experience. I am your host, Chandler Blakely, a.k.a. Goose. We are the leaders in single entry, 3 max, and 20 max content. But you know what I always tell you, man. No matter your style of play, no matter what type of contest you're in, if you're playing NBA DFS, you want to be subscribed, you want to have your notification bell on so you know when the videos and content drop, man. Trust me, you will not be sorry. This is one of the best places you can be in, man. You better ask around, man. All right? Also, do me one small favor while you're at it. Go on and click that like button for your boy, man. Let's get back up to 100 likes, man. The last video was like at 93, I believe. Let's get it on back up to 100, man. Let's not let's not slip, okay? All right? If you if you didn't hit the like button, you probably the reason we didn't get to 100. So hit that like button if you within the sound of my voice right now. It's greatly appreciated. Get some good energy and karma headed your direction today. We all could use more of that, all right? Now, got a fully, fully loaded. Now, well. Hope y'all had a good Sunday. No video yesterday, man. So, you know, no lineup review. We're going to get right into it yesterday. Hope y'all had a good weekend. Hopefully, you cashed a little bit on Sunday. But today, Monday, man, they opened us up with a monster nine-game slate. Haven't had one this large in quite a while. <clears throat> nine-game slate on both sites. And, whoo, it's looking rough out there today, man. You got a lot of large point spreads, a lot of questionable guys. It's going to be news galore. The play, the plays are going to change throughout the day and throughout the night, man, because you got some questionable tags in the later game you're going to have to <clears throat> be aware of, especially if we don't get that news before lock. But y'all know, man, I try to cultivate the video around the slate as I see it right now with what news we do have. All right, but definitely probably going to change today. It's going to be some lot it's going to be a lot better plays open up than what you're seeing here in this video. Don't mean these plays ain't going to be good, but it's probably going to be a, a lot better plays opening up once we get this injury news. Can't do nothing about it, guys. Won't have this injury news till later in the day. But I'm going to give it to you Right now, how we see it, I know these plays should draw, call out to you, stick out to you. Hopefully, they stay around in your player pool here. But let's get into it, man. At the top, point guard, I want to look at K. Cunningham. 8K, prices, prices, a solid price here. He's been playing very well, so I'm shocked the price hasn't been moving up. Uh, they just held him out for injury management. They've been doing that uh, back and forth the last couple of games. I'm anticipating him being good to go here. Now, I know it's not the highest total on the slate, and it's a big spread, but it's a lot of those. And uh, what I'm looking at here is just K. Cunningham's recent play, how he's been playing, and I don't care what the total or the spreads is. He, they didn't play these Knicks team twice this season. He's averaging 50 fantasy, 51 fantasy points against the New York Knicks. So regardless of the spread, regardless of which team is better, he's showing you he can get it done on two separate occasions, all right? I think the first game he had like 52, the second we had 48. So he's averaging 51 fantasy points against these New York Knicks, man. I don't mind going right back to him, especially with the way he's been playing as of late. Even though it's a tough matchup, you know, this is his squad, man. Sign me up for Cade Cunningham. <clears throat> At the shooting guard, I, listen, I told y'all the other day, when it was Saturday, he is on a tear. He in AMG mode. He in something. I don't know what he on, but I'm going to continue to play him. I'm going right back to Jalen Green here. 8800 The price is rising, but it's, it's going to continue to do that if he keeps having these type of performances. Great matchup here against the Portland Trail Blazers. You already know that's like a homecoming basketball team. Now you play guys against Portland, play them against the Wizards. You just play these guys in these spots. And Jalen Green has been lighting it up. I'm going to continue to play them here against the Portland Trail Blazers. Only problem I got to worry about here is if Portland can somewhat keep it closer. He can get his full allotment of minutes. But definitely like getting back to Jalen Green at 8,800. Now, at the small four, we do have a, one big piece of news that, we, that we've already gotten and we know he's going to be out. But the guy I'm looking at right here in this spot, I am just going to play Denny Avdia, 7,200. We know Kyle Kuzma is out. We could be without Jordan Poole. Either way, even if Jordan Poole plays, man, obviously going to be, if Jordan Poole plays, obviously going to be the 1B guy because Jordan Poole really ain't a 1A guy. 
he he ain't a solo one guy. He's like a one A to a one B guy. Denny Abdi is gonna be the A or the B in this scenario. If Pool misses, Denny Abdi is gonna be the alpha over here. We've seen him get fifty burgers. He rebounds well. He's gonna be looking to score, man. You get no Jordan Pool out here with no Kuzma, he might look like a long, a young Larry Legend out there. He's gonna get whatever shots he want, man. I like getting the de Denny Abdi. He's live for a double double here in this spot. I'm talking about a big double double too. Solid rebound. Founder. Give me some Denny Abdi here at 7200. Definitely got my eyes on him here in this spot. <clears throat> at my power forward, definitely going to need this news, but I think it could break in our favor. I'm looking at Aaron Gordon for the Denver Nuggets. We have Jamal Murray and uh, Nikola Jokic uh, missed the last game. They're questionable coming in this game against Memphis, man. They really don't need both of them for Memphis, so they could let one rest. If they're both good to go, they could let one rest or both rest. I don't think they need them here in this spot. Um, if we do get them both out or we just get Jokic out, is the main concern here for Aaron Gordon. We saw the shot attempts and everything go up last time out uh, with, with neither one of these guys. I think we could see that same scenario here, man. I think he got like 20 shot attempts last game with, with, he, with neither one of these stars playing. He should be right around that. You know he hits the board. He's just a different player player out there when uh there's no yogis he flashes back to some of his orlando he can kind of create his own shot he can work out of the post a little bit I think you're gonna see a lot more of that here in this spot with no yogis down there but definitely got to keep an eye out for that injury news then at the center man big news we waiting on but I'm definitely, definitely getting to my boy Duop Reef if DeAndre Ayton is out. They played the Nuggets last game, had a nice performance, <clears throat> even though he was in foul trouble and only got 26, 27 minutes. Still gave you like 30 plus fantasy points, man. I'm going to like him in this spot. We know Houston is going to be without Jabari Smith suspended. Uh, they still know Sengun over there, so we have to see. Maybe they let Jeff Green start or they could go to Jock Landell. Either way. I don't think he's going to have a problem with the matchup, man. I like getting a doo-wop reef if Aiden sits here. But if Aiden plays, you can look to the other side. Like I said, they start Jock Landale for the Rockets. I like it. I don't know how I feel about Jeff Green. I know he had two decent games, but it's still Jeff Green over there. But definitely love doo-wop reef at 4,900. If he, he should get the start if there's no DeAndre Aiden. And, and, and the kid has some game with him. He's been playing solid when he's gotten the time this year and getting the minutes. So I like him in this spot, all right? There you have it, just starting five for DraftKings. Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green, Denny Avdia, Aaron Gordon, and Duop Reef. All right, get you some exposure to these guys. Let's go look at FanDuel and see what I'm feeling over here. At the top, man, I think we can look at Peyton Pritchard. We know Drew Holiday is out. We got Derek White is questionable. I think he misses. Out of all those starters up there, the Brown, Tatum, I think he didn't got the least amount of rest time. So they could choose to let him get a rest spot here. Uh, they shouldn't need him with all the weapons they have back in the lineup with Porzingis and Brown coming back. They shouldn't need White here in this spot to take care of the Atlanta Hawks, but we shall see. But Peyton Pritchard is going to see playing time, like I said, with no Drew Holiday. Been seeing solid minutes as of late and just turning out solid fantasy performances, man. Averaging around 32, 31 fantasy points his last three or four games with Holiday being out. I think we can go right back to him, especially in a great pace-up matchup against the Hawks here. Shooting guard, I am just staying with Jalen Green, man. I take the price discount over here, saving me $300. Love the matchup. Love the way he's been playing. Just going to play plenty of Jalen Green. At the small forward, I'm staying with Denny Avdia, 7,600, man. I think you can see a big one from him here in this spot, man. I'm looking. I got him penciled in for a 50-burger, man. I'm looking for a 50-burger here from Denny Avdia against the Bulls if Jordan Poole misses. I think you can write him in for a 50-burger. I like Denny Avdia, 7,600. At the power forward, don't mind getting to some Jaron Jackson, especially if Murray and Jokic miss. Should make this game a little more competitive, and uh, they should Memphis should be able to hang around in it a little bit longer. Memphis is playing solid defense whenever Jackson's in the lineup, and having no Jokic down there is definitely going to free up Jaron Jackson. You can worry about the fouls a little less. It's still Jaron Jackson, so you got to worry about him, but you can worry about him a little less with no Jokic down there, and he shouldn't have to work as hard on the defensive end 
end, guarding Jokic, so that should free him up with a little more energy for the offensive end. And if there's no Bane, you know he's going to be the primary scorer, man. Don't mind getting the Jaron Jackson here in this spot of 8,500. And then at the center, I'm staying with my guy, man, Duop Reef. 4,800, sign me up if he gets the start, man. Live for a double-double. He can just get it done for us here at this price tag. He's crushed his price tag in several different spots this season. Don't mind going right back to him, especially with a Houston uh Houston team who's depleted at the center spot, not running any true centers out there. Sign me up for Duop Reef, all right? There you have it, your start five for FanDuel. Duop Reef, Jaron Jackson, Denny Avdia, Jalen Green, and Peyton Pritchard, man. Guys, look alive. Realize there's going to be some better plays that open up. It's a lot of questionable tags. We don't know how this news is going to go. But any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. Hit me below in the comment section. You can holler at me on Twitter. I'll respond as soon as I see it. Sometimes I don't respond because I see it late. Y'all ask me like slate questions and the slate have been the lock by the time I saw it. And all I can do is just like it because me giving a response is not going to help you when it's already locked. So just be aware if I don't respond to certain questions, guys. My bad. Sorry. I just see them when I see them. I have a lot to do during the day. All right? Y'all know the motto, man. Chances make champions. Y'all green up. I'll catch y'all next time, all right? Let's get it.